A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Do not resist one who is evil. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your coat, let him have your cloak as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to him who begs from you, and do not refuse him who would borrow from you. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters and my dear children in Christ, today we celebrate the feast of St. Anthony of Padua. And as we meditate on the life of this saint, perhaps we take three of his great sayings and see what inspiration that we can draw from this saint, from the life of this powerful saint, St. Anthony. Very often, St. Anthony would say, action speaks louder than words. Let your words speak and let your actions preach. Very powerful. He says, let your actions preach. And that is how St. Anthony preached the word of God through his actions. He was not just a hearer of the word, but also a doer of the word of God. He who calls me Lord, Lord, will not enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father is the one who will find place in the presence of God. The words of Christ. If St. Anthony has found so much of place in our heart today, in the church today, in our homes today, it is because he was not just a one who heard the word of Christ, but then the one who acted upon it. And he who acts upon it is the one who has built his house upon the rock. It's very solid and the presence of an Anthony is very solid in the church, in our families and in our personal life. And today he is calling us not just to be hearers of the word of God but doers of the word of God. A second saying that St. Anthony very often used to say is, charity is the foundation of faith. When love dies, faith dies. Very true. He says, love is the foundation of our faith. And when love dies, faith dies. Faith cannot have place where there is no love. Be it in our family, in our personal life, in the parish. If we are people without love, without that sensitivity, without that affection, then our faith is a faith which has no life. And he calls us to build our faith upon love. And God is love. To build our faith upon Jesus who is love incarnate. And the third saying of St. Anthony is also my favorite or a saying that I like very much. He says, take refuge in our mother. For she is the city of refuge. A great devotee of our Blessed Mother. Everyone who places their trust in our Blessed Mother cannot but find a beautiful place in the heart of Christ. He says, whenever you are troubled, you are disturbed, he says, 
take refuge in our blessed mother and she is the city of refuge he is calling us to be dear children of our blessed mother today as we celebrate the feast of this great saint let us draw inspiration from the life of san anthony a life that was filled with actions a life that spoke loudly not his words but his life spoke to us the life of san anthony is a gospel for all of us all of us we admire san anthony we pray to san anthony because the life of san anthony is a gospel that is preaching christ very loudly every action of san anthony was a witness to the love to the mercy to the power of christ christ was powerfully witnessed through the actions of san anthony the miracles that he performed that he is performing even today are countless the powerful christ was seen at action in him and today san anthony is calling us to be powerful in our action not just in our words and for that we need to be doers of the word of god not just hearers and let us build our faith upon love upon christ and every time we are troubled we are distressed let mary our mother be our city of refuge